Guys, welcome back to Danganronpa Goodbye Despair. Nagito blew up the hotel and now he's threatening to blow up the entire island. We're probably all gonna die. Let's see what happens next. When Nagito said yesterday, I'll weed out the traitor even if it costs me my life. I finally understand what he meant. Nagito took this entire island hostage and created a situation where the traitor has to come forward. That is Nagito's goal. But what he's planning to do if the traitor doesn't come forward? Is he really gonna blow up the entire island? He's insane, so I would say yes. Anyway, Monokuma Theatre. My motto is to do a good deed every day. When I was at a bar and shouted, Can I get a Sam? The female bartender happily answered, Sure thing. It makes me so happy when someone else is this happy. Doing a great deed every day is awesome. But inside, that woman probably thought I was a loser for sitting alone at a cheap bar in the middle of the night. Damn it, I can't keep up with this crap. Hey, sweet cheeks, give me another Sam. Not Sam Adams, I'm obviously talking about raw salmon. And here's some good news for you. I've imbued the smell of vanilla into Monokuma plushies. It's effective for aromatherapy and it's definitely calmed down everyone's nerves if they're agitated. Available in the near future. <laughs> That's it for Monokuma Shopping Corner. That is just like, like, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? It's another beautiful day. Let's see what's going on today. I guess we're going to the cafeteria. I've been resting since the explosion yesterday. Oh, I can't actually go to the cafeteria anymore, actually, because it doesn't exist. So, a dull metallic sound is ringing in my ears, and the back of my head feels hot. I can't think straight. But I can't afford to spend the whole day resting. I immediately left my cottage. Yeah, the building's gone. Hey, Kazzy, she has a gun. Oh, actually, the hotel looks in surprisingly good shape for a hotel that was blown up. What the fuck? Everything's just the f way it was. Yo. You heard me. How you feeling? Not good, but not as bad as I can't move. Huh. Then you're okay. This is I'm not okay at all. My ears are seriously ringing. Damn My eardrum is definitely it. ruptured. I need to hurry and have a doctor look at it. Mm. So what should we do now? However. What can we do? Hmm. How troubling. The traitor would just come forward. The problem would be resolved in no time at all. Nagito, when did you... Hey. Good morning. I came to motivate you guys since you're just laying around. Didn't I tell you yesterday the bombs are set to go off in two days at noon? Well, you got one day left. Come on, you better hurry. I mean... Hurry, I'm not the only one asked to come forward. The traitor does, right? Well... well, that's probably true. But even if it does depend on the traitor, your attitudes aren't admirable at all. Isn't that I mean, right? real hope is when you confront a hopeless difficulty that's standing before you, right? And despite that, you guys are already ready to give up? What does that mean? <sighs> or is this your limit? If so, well, that makes me laugh to think I ever called you symbols of hope. Yeah. You bastard, you better knock it off! Now, now. Now, now, keep your shirt on. I took the time to come to bring you guys a valuable hint. Wouldn't it be bad if I changed my mind? Huh? Did he just say hint? Go on, Nagito, just fucking tell us what it is, dickface. Nagito, what's the hint? I'm glad. You finally have hope? That makes me so happy. Hey! Who freaking cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us what the hint is. Well, well, it's about the bomb's hiding place. I hid it somewhere you guys haven't been before. Huh? Somewhere we have not been before? You I don't need any more off. hints. I'll just tell us the off. answer. If you don't, I'll make you spit it out. Hey, 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 we can do if you set off another bomb. Yep. Good judgment. If you guys have time to pick a fight with me, then you should start searching for the bombs already. I'll just crush you to pieces later. Well. How scary. Hey. Why did you give us a hint? See? Well, the trader sees that new friends working hard, they may feel inclined to come forward, you know? Who cares? This trader might not even exist! All we need to do is find the damn bombs. Let's go! <laughs> Take care. <laughs> well, by the way, I'll be waiting here, so if you want to reveal yourself, come see me anytime. Right? Mr. or Miss Trader? We left the restaurant as the Gito's muffled laughter trailed behind us. Oh, great, so we got to find bombs. Why? Kazuichi, why did you stop me? Huh? What are you talking about? Yeah. If you hadn't stopped me, I could have crushed Nigero to pieces. Bastard! You're too fired up, damn ass! Calm the fuck down, at least! Everyone. More importantly, let's head over to the ancient ruin. Hmm. Uh, the ruin? Please Nigero listen. said the bombs are hidden somewhere we have never been before. So if this is the case, the inside I of that thought. ruin is the only place I can think of. Well. No, there was one other place, too. What's that again? The castle at the amusement park? What's its name? 
Huh? You talked about that, that Sume castle? Hey, hey, we don't hey. get it. it Freaking means Nazumi castle. Then we have those two places to choose from. But we won't be able to enter the ancient room without a password. What should we do? Like... Password, huh? I'm guessing we still don't have any clues on that. Hey, hey. That probably goes for Nagido too. He wouldn't be able to enter without the password either, right? If that's the case, it's hard to think the bombs were set inside the ancient room, right? So we should try going to Nazumi castle first. Are we screwed? Isn't that dangerous? I mean, what if there was a Nagido's trap all along? Jeez. Monokuma's trap, Manami's trap, and now Nagido's trap. Dumbass. If we keep worried about shit like that, we won't get anything done, dumbass. You He's totally fired up too. Well. Anyway, hey. we should try going there at least. We don't have time to stand around doing nothing. Alright! Full speed ahead! Obviously. Alright, we'll tackle Nazumi Castle first. I guess that's where we're going. Uh, that's on the... what island is that on? Fourth island? Yeah. Nazumi Castle, where are you? Our house, Nazumi Castle, here we go. I don't think they're gonna be here, it's too obvious. How the fuck... oh, it's open now? Holy shit! Well... Hey, hey check hey. it out! Someone's got inside, the entrance is destroyed. It's been blown to bits as if someone set off a... a bomb. If that's true, it looks like this place was spot on. The bombs are inside here. Damn that's what right. it looks like. Then let's try going inside. But we need to be careful. We need to pay as much attention as we can. You're right. I guess we're going in. Hi, <laughs> little one. Hi, hi. I love you. Yes, I do. Hi, hi. <laughs> oh, she's so cute, though. Look at her. Oh my God, guys! We just got attacked by a bee fly hybrid. <laughs> and Chris stepped on Pretzel, who's I'm sorry, Pretzel. give her a big cud. Give her a big cuddle. A bigger one. I was brave. I was brave, baby. <laughs> I'm recording without many clothes on as well, so I could have been stuck anywhere. <laughs> anywhere, Pretzel. How do you know what cat pee smells like? That's disgusting. <laughs> While forcing a dry swallow, I nervously step through the door. And there? Oh, shit, Baby, I'm recording! STOP TALKING! <laughs> what is this place? I thought the inside would look more light-hearted than this. Um. The ambience feels similar to that of a temple or church, however. Is it just me or does it seem there are no bombs to be found here? Well. No, it's just not just you. Mm. The bombs are strong enough to blow up the entire island. They should be pretty big. I don't see anything. I don't see a place where they could be hidden either. Huh? The bombs aren't here? The bombs aren't here. But even so... I feel like there's something suspicious here. But why? It feels like this place is different somehow. This feeling is the same feeling as I felt when I went first saw that ancient ruin. There's a huge Nordic looking spirit on the wall. It looks flashy, but I have a strong feeling this spirit isn't just for decoration. Anyway, it's really strange looking. It's like a grappling hook? Some kind of cord attached to the end of the handle. Which this means... weapon is designed to capture an opponent using the cord as a whip just before you deliver the final blow. So it's like a chain sickle? However... You must be careful. Use a whip as a weapon is quite difficult. You must capture yourself instead of your intended target. You might capture yourself. That is right! And you might also recall an unexpected fan service moment. What are you talking about? <laughs> Beautiful fighters who get themselves into immodest situations are in universal demand. Like I said, what are you talking about? Anything else in here? <laughs> Ah, what's this? The font doesn't match the ambience of the castle at all. It's almost like it was intentionally put here. 
Hey everyone, come check this out. It's the password. Huh? What's that? To all subjects. Subjects? Who are they talking about? Is it about us? There's more written below that. What does it mean? The password to guide everyone to the future is... Lies. What the heck is this? We can't even read the most important part. Lies. What does the password to guide everyone to the future even mean? Maybe it's that password. Could it, Could it be? be the password to access that ancient ruin? Guide everyone to the future. Maybe that refers to the Japanese word that is written on the door. Whoa. Expected in Miss Sonia, she only had to read it once to understand what it means. Like... We carry the password, there's nothing we can do. That is... is a, a rather tragic moment. Hey, hey. erase this. Huh? Erased? I mean, so... it doesn't feel like it was erased naturally, right? It looks like it was forcibly scratched off. That's the only way I can see it. Even but Manami so. and Monokuma shouldn't have entered this castle because they don't like mice, right? I won't and it was Nagito. He's the one who erased the password. Unforgivable. Perhaps. Nagito probably discovered the password here and used it to enter the ancient ruin. Then he hid the bombs inside the ancient ruin. I so we erased can't. the password so we were made to get near the bombs. Damn it, that actually makes a lot of sense. If that's true, he gave us a hint even though he knew we wouldn't be able to use it. Don't Just tell as he me. could, he shoved that reality in our faces. There's no way we can enter that ruin if we don't know the password. In the end, we can't do anything about the bombs unless the traitor comes forward. Did he there is this place that we'd be forced to confront that? Forcing us to confront the despair before us. Forcing us to confront how powerless we are. Damn it, that's what Monokuma would do. Uh. Hey, um... Whoever you are, you don't have to reveal yourself to us. Just tell Nagito. If you don't tell... If you don't, they'll just end up dying too, you know? You. Hey, who are you saying that to? <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying it to everyone. Oh. Let's stop fighting among ourselves. Won't help anything. More importantly, let's work harder to find the password to the ancient ruin, or clues that might relate to it. Hey. As long as we cooperate and explore over the island, we might be able to find it, you know? Are you tell us to look everywhere for a password that might not even exist? Hey. Who are the other password here in the first place, and why? If it wasn't Monokuma or Minami, then who was it? We can't even answer that, so there's no way we'll be able to find anything. Please wait! Then what would you have us do? Just wait until we all die? There is no different than when we were in the funhouse, and what did we learn there? We learn not to give up on living, right? Hmm. Then, Gundam was the only one who said that. Very well then, I should look for it on my own. Excuse me. Sonia, hold on! But Sonia ignored me and I called for her and stormed out the arena. Her shoulders were shaking a little, I'm sure of it. I mean... What the heck? Damn it, fine! You wanna look for it? Well, fine! Hey! Kazuchi left Nizumi Castle and walked in the opposite direction of Sonia. What the hell are they doing? Now's not the time for infighting. Like... Well, it might be a good idea to work separately. Why? I mean, huh? it's easy to move around that way, you know, in case someone wanted to secretly go meet someone. Hey, does that mean... Sorry, like... just out like I was thinking out loud and pretend you weren't listening. Damn it. Not again, man. We're scattered as usual. Stupid One of them's gonna die. If you think so, then please help. <laughs> yeah, leave it to me. I got a secret plan. I, I just have to find the source you. of the problem and snap it off. Connie, what's your secret plan? I have a bad feeling about the way Akane's acting. I'll run after her. It's best if we keep Akane away from Nagito for now. Far away. You're right. I guess I'll leave it to you. Yep. See you later. Jackie ran after Akane. And from there, I was the only one left. What does this really mean? Who are the subjects that are being referred to? Is the password to guide everyone to the future? I have no fucking clue what's going on. I was last to leave Nazumi Castle and I wandered all over the island searching for clues to the password. But I didn't expect to find anything. In the end, that's exactly what happened. And so time passed by with its usual speed. Ahem! It is not Please read now, but... It's night time. <laughs> Even after the announcement, I kept searching the island, but I didn't find out what we were doing, looking for. After all, I'd forgotten what I was supposed to be looking for in the first place. In the end, after coming up empty-handed, I returned to the hotel. I didn't see anyone else on my way back here, but I also didn't see them while I was exploring either. That's because even though this island is so vast, our numbers have been drastically decreased since we arrived. I can't think of any reason other than that. I should go back. Nikita said time runs out at noon tomorrow. Another day is about to end, which means there's only half a day left. 
I can't imagine the traitor will be revealed by then, since we don't even know they really exist. And even if they do, it's possible they've forgotten that they're the traitor. All this thinking makes me feel like I should do something, but... My brain and body were yearning for rest, probably because of all the walking I did today. As I dozed off, horrible, disgusting images began to surface from the back of my mind, one after the other. And before I could focus on the specifics of those images... I slowly sank into the depths of darkness. Oh god, what's gonna happen to me at night? Something bad happens to the, like, fucking... the character from the other game at night as well, at the beginning of Act 5. Hey, um... I think giving up is really important. If you don't give up on your dreams, they'll come true. That's just irresponsible and lazy encouragement. No matter how much you try without giving up, it's useless in the end. Persistence is just the worst. That's why giving up is so important. But you can't give up if you don't even try. That's, all That's actually the worst of all. The Crazy, my doggy's being bummed. She's uh, a pretzel's barking in the back garden, and that's pretty bum, isn't it, Bubba? Crazy's gonna blow a whistle. You guys are gonna hear a whistle. It's a pretzel summoning. <whistles> that was the whistle. Pretzel! Pretzel, I don't think she's gonna come, guys. Pretzel? Pretzel! Come Pretzel, here! Come on! Good girl! Good girl! Thank you! Thank you! Time to treat the pepper. Hi, these greenies. Stale pizza bread is the best, right, Pretzel? Anyway, I'm gonna continue recording now, Bobby, okay? Ding dong, bing bong. It's morning. Ahem. Oh. Hope Speak Academy School. Oh, same as always. Well, let's see what happens. The scenery this morning is the same as it ever was. I can see the sunlight peeking through the window. I can hear the faint sound of waves crashing on the beach. But the bombs that get set off are going to destroy all of this once time runs out at noon. At the moment, there's nothing about our situation that's changing for the better. Usually, I go to the restaurant, but what should I do today? As long as I remember what Nagito said. It sounds like he's planning to hang out at the restaurant all day. Wait a minute, it's going to be there all day? Then if anyone went to the restaurant like they normally do, the bad feeling lingering in my chest grew with each beat of my frantic heart. I immediately ran out of my cottage. Oh god, is someone dead? Someone's going to be fucking dead, aren't they? Like, really fucking quickly here. Well, Sonya's alive because I can see her. No one else around, though. Fuck. Body discovery announcement? The moment I set inside, foot inside the restaurant, the worst case scenario was unfolding before me. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty bad. Playtime's over. Now, where'd you hide the bombs? That hurts, but I'll never tell. If you really want me to spit it out, you should try torturing me or something. Huh? Torture? Maybe you can stab my fingers with that. Oh my god. Or scoop my eyes out with that spoon. If you're not willing to fill me with despair. There's no way my hope will ever grow. Oh. I think you should kill him, Akane. I'm all with it. I find you're not guilty. Akane's hand suddenly wrapped around Nagito's get, and his face began turning a startling shade of red. That's fine with me. Just die already. A clenched hands kept squeezing even tighter, as if she was trying to snap his neck instead of just strangling him. Hey. What you doing, hey. Akane? This is Are you all right? Is he seriously gonna die? But she was too overcome by rage to acknowledge us. Oh, well done, Jackie. Calm down, okay? You wouldn't do something like that, right? You're not the kind of person who would hurt someone, right? See, it's all right. Yep, no Holy problem. Holy shit, Jackie's fucking awesome, which means she's probably gonna die. There's two more deaths to come, I'm sure, so... Sorry, I'm awake now. That's what was I doing anyway? Hey, hey! That's what I want to ask. Don't tell me you were actually thinking about killing him. And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, I saw him slowly stand up. Thanks. Thank you, Connie. Gotta see my dad dog again. I haven't seen him in ages. Huh? So you're right, you probably pissed off Connie in the first place. Wow. I didn't mean to do that, though. Anyway, thank you for saving me. Looks like I owe you one. 
Then... Listen, Zili Mendel, please tell us the password to enter the ancient ruin. Huh? The password? To the ancient ruin? What are you gonna do with that? Don't play dumb, you're hitting you... the bombs inside that ruin, right? You're right. I did. Until <laughs> yesterday. Huh? What? So you fucking move them? And again, what do you mean until by by until yesterday? Well, there wasn't anything important inside of the ancient ruin, just some familiar scenery. Familiar scenery? Not part of it. Also, I hid them in there. It would be completely meaningless. <sighs> so even if you had managed to learn the password to the ancient ruin, it has no meaning anymore. Now that I've moved the bomb somewhere else, hey hey, we're living inside the ancient ruin, right? I'm anyway, glad. I guess it was right for me to move them. They were about to be found before the traitor confessed. Well, it's not like it really matters. In fact, that might be better. Amazing. To make hope shine even brighter. Best talking crazy and tell us where you moved the bombs to already. <laughs> Looks like you're in a hurry. Well, that's understandable. After all, time runs out today. Hey. So let's begin the final battle. The final battle between the traitor and everybody else. <laughs> final battle between hope and despair. The place I hid the bombs this time is a place you've all visited at least once. Hey, hey, See, hey. that's too broad. See? Shouldn't be that hurt if you guys split up. For now, why don't you guys search everywhere as fast as you can? As long as everyone cooperates, it should be easy to find out where the bombs are. What the heck? This is it's gonna exciting. be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. <laughs> Absolute hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. I... And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. <laughs> and more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So that's gonna be fine. As long as you believe in hope with all your hearts, the path should open. With that, Nagito walked away and left us with a sinister mix message. Damn it! And does he start to be alive? Dumbass! Now's not the time to complain about stuff like that! Oh. Besides, we don't have time to fight among ourselves. You are, you are right. right. We must hurry and search for the bombs. We should still have time to stop them. I mean. Based on all the places we searched, they don't know what we should look, where we should look. Shut the only the thing we can do is split up and cover as much ground as we can. There are exactly six of us. Each person should be in charge of searching an island. Damn it. At least it's not to me. I already have the layout of this island in my head. Just leave it to me. Hmm. Currently has the first island. I'll do the second one. If <laughs> someone, you should get the smallest island. You okay while searching the central island? Huh? Uh, but, uh... Anyway. You're probably not good at covering ground anyway, right? It's fine. You can search the central island. Jackie, you search the third island with the hospital. How'd you make you search the amusement park? And I'll handle the final island. I'm doing the wrong voice. Don't know what the fuck this is. I'm meant to be a fucking Yakuza. All right, let's do it. Doing the wrong voice again. Mm. Let's hurry up and find those bombs so we can take care of Nikito once and for all. We stormed out the restaurant and immediately left to search for the bombs. We didn't have time to come up with about think about. We didn't even have time to even think about who the traitor is. But it's ironic. Nikito is the reason we're all splitting up, but the reason we're all cooperating is because of Nikito too. It's pretty damn ironic. I got the shittest island. I hate this island. According to Nagita, the bombs have enough power to easily wipe out the entire island, and it's probably not very small. I'll definitely find it. I'm not overly sure you will, but still. Did I max out the little piggy, piggy, piggy me's stuff? Yeah, I did. Oh, she's nice and happy. There you go. No shits either. Oh, is it in Manami's house? I haven't been in there. The door's open. Looks like I can go inside, but it's possible the bombs were hidden in here. Alright, let's go. What the fuck is there? This is creepy as fuck! How should I describe this place? It's cloyingly cute. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, no. Why is Hajime in my house? The door was wide open. As soon as she heard that, Manami walked to the door and... It's broken! My security system is broken! The robber probably did it! A oh, robber is no excuse. A female teacher with a young boy shooting in her house. It's just so inappropriate! Yeah. I've been splattered with disgrace! Jeez, she's noisy. Right, let's have a look for bombs, I guess. What the heck is this? Monami plushes on hangers? Stop Don't go it. touching my things without permission, they're important! Your own plushes? You must love yourself, just like Monokuma. You're wrong. wrong! Please don't compare me to that thing! You don't have enough delicacy! Entering a woman's house without her permission and touching her things makes your teacher very sad! Got this it? will not be allowed! Hajime needs a class in morality! 
delicacy and morality. I don't know if these things have anything to do with each other. That's I right. I give you a special private lesson after school. Miss Manami will slowly and thoroughly give you a good tea. Oh, that wow. sounds really inappropriate. Wow. Once again, I've been splattered with disgrace. Such a sticky and gooey disgrace. <laughs> You're the one who started saying it. What the fuck? Are those things monitors? They're not displaying anything right now, but why are there so many? Are they monitoring us with these? <laughs> so I was right. The Venice cameras were at the island, and because those cameras were recording. You're watching this footage on these monitors. You're monitoring us, weren't you? I was until Monokuma appeared. I no longer have my magic sticker because of that Monokuma stole all my powers. So I don't have the authority to monitor everywhere anymore. These monitors are useless. What does that stick have to do with the surveillance cameras? Anyway, I can't monitor any everywhere anymore. I have no other way of following your movements unless I rely on those somewhat nifty ears. I don't really understand, but does that mean Monokuma has been watching us from my surveillance cameras? That's it's probably not him either. In his current state, he shouldn't even need to use those cameras. His power keeps increasing beyond my expectations. He surpassed any standard of measuring it. He stops talking about stuff that doesn't make any sense. Who's watching those surveillance cameras? Got they it? probably only matter to the the outside. Outside? Do you mean the group that's controlling you and Monokuma? I see, so the people outside the island are watching the footage captured by the surveillance cameras and... <laughs> well, let's brush that whole thing aside. There's no way I can do that. Um... But I can't say... Hey. She's trying to cover up by crying. That's exactly what Monokuma does. Because I thought I can't trust her at all. Why is there a camera in here? So Manami is being monitored. There's my bomb here anyway. So anyway, you said something about a robber. Are you talking about Monokuma? Monokuma would just be as cheap as breaking the lock. If he's took over my power, he can do anything he wants on this island, as long as he wills it. Power? Will? He always said melodramatic. But if it wasn't Monokuma, does that mean the robber is one of us? I'm not doubting my students or anything, but my important thing was definitely stolen. What's your important thing? My treasure box. I don't think any of us would steal Manami's treasure box. But if someone did, why would they steal it in the first place? Um... Do you let me know if you find my treasure? It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. Well, if I come across it... Yippee Alrighty, hooray! that's enough of your questions. Now it's my turn to question you. Me? Hey. Why did you suddenly come to the amusement park? It's strange you're walking around alone. Did something happen? Something did happen. Hmm? That's right, I don't have time to waste as a place like this. I need to ask you an important question. Do you know where they are? Somewhere on Jabberwock Island. Nagito. Hey! Hey! Wait, hello there, Manami. Want to play with your big brother? Monokuma! Uh? What's with your sudden invitation? We've never played before. <laughs> come on, everyone's busy. You shouldn't interfere. So hurry up and come play with me. <laughs> my ears. Please don't pull my ears. I'll, I'll let you students handle you. the rest. Do your best. He always interferes whenever we're discussing something important. I guess he really is monitoring us. No, now's not time to complain. I should get back to searching for the bombs. I shouldn't waste any more time. I leapt out of the army house and returned to searching for the bombs. I guess we just have to keep searching each location. I don't see any friggin' bombs anywhere! Nothing good will come from rushing, I'll just try looking somewhere else. Okay, well... The roller coaster. Nothing here. At least nothing obviously here. Fun house. There isn't that many places left. I guess I should go in Nazumi Castle anyway. Did he move them back to Nazumi Castle? Nothing here either. So we've only got the fun house left, which I don't really want to go to because it's fucking. That was the worst part of the game. Mm. Hey, Jimmy. I found them. You found them? Yeah, yes. she's gonna bounce pile on top of each other. God damn, I didn't expect to find actual bombs. Where'd you find them? Need yeah, their stupid factory where the life-size Monokuma plushies are made. The plushie factory. Got it. <laughs> Go get Kazuichi and Akane. Can you tell Sonya and Chiaki? Yeah, I got it. Damn. We'll meet in front of the bombs later. Me in front of the bombs. What's gonna happen after that? We'll be able to stop them? There's no point thinking about that right now. I need to tell Sonya and Chiaki about the bombs first. Sonya should be at the central island. Chiaki should be on the third. Alright, let's go. Uh... 
third island. Let's get Shaki first, seeing as I like her a lot more than uh, I do Sonya. Why can I teleport to the third island? What the fuck? Do I just have to manually go there? Whatever. Oh, Sonya's on the central island. Just fucking out of central island first and then go to the third. Sonya, where are you? Sonya should be here. Jabberwock Park. Okay, let's go to Jabberwock Park. Third. There you go. Is she here? That's weird. I don't see her anywhere. Hey, Sonya! I'm right here. <laughs> Just kidding, it's only me! Yes, Hajime you used Call Sonya, but nothing happened. Because she's already gone to a faraway place. Huh? Just kidding! If you're looking for Sonya, she was walking around in the military base. The military base? The one on the final island? Did she already hear about the bombs? Is that why she went to the final island? But even so, there's no reason for her to be here at the military base. Because the bombs are found at the plushie factory. I don't really understand, but I'll head over there after I talk to Chiaki. Maybe she went to the base on her own without knowing anything about the bombs. Chiaki should be at the third island. Let's go there. Something is really up. Sonya's probably dead. The music venue, is that? It is, it's Chiaki. Isn't that the music venue? What the fuck? I know, I know Chiaki's not the music venue game. I'm trying to enter the music venue. What the fuck is going on? Is this bugged? Is my game bugged? Because it says I need to get to the music venue by con. Ugh, and I haven't saved like fucking oh, there she is. What the fuck? I didn't realise you could walk and like stop like this. Jesus Christ. That was really fiddly. Jackie, I've been looking for you. What happened? Don't respond so slowly, it's the bombs. We found the bombs. Hurry over to the plushie factory. Hey, are you listening? There's no time to space out. Yep. Oh you're right, the bombs are bad, right? We'd better go to the plushie factory. I'll head over. At least be a little more nervous. Even in a situation like this, she moves at a snail's pace. Alright, I should head over to the final island and meet up with Sonya at the military base. Can I teleport there now? No, all the teleporters are unactive, which is really weird. Here we go, fifth island. For the plushie factory, I need to meet up with Sonya at the military base. Sonya, is she here? No, she's here, she's alive. Sonya, there she is. What is she doing in a place like this? Looks like Sonya is digging around the back of that truck. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, Hachimi, please do not startle me. I, I thought my concerned. heart was going to explode. Explode? Anyway, what are you doing here? Weren't you searching the central island? Um, I was, but there was something I needed to confirm here. Never mind that for now, we found them. Um, what did you find? The bombs, obviously! They found the bombs at the plushie factory! Huh? The bombs are at the factory? They just hurry to the plushie factory. The others should be there already, too. Hey, what are you stalling for? If you don't hurry, it'll be too late! You are you right. right. I understand. I shall make my way there shortly. Please don't go on without me. Huh? I am sorry! It's going to be fine. I'm gonna catch up with you soon. Got it. I'll start heading over. She's so dead. She is so dead. She is so fucking dead. Yeah, she's gonna be dead. There's no way Sonya is surviving this now, unfortunately, for her. Huh? We Sonya! I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me. She said she had to catch up with us later. Huh? Later? Why? She should know by now there isn't the time for that, but... 
Well, Can I go bring her? Dumbass. You really think there's time for that, you fucking dumbass? You're right, we need to stop the bombs first. Damn Everybody, it. let's go! We steal the nerves and charge into the factory. Holy shit, that's a lot of bombs. Think of the night was the roaring engine of a nearby truck. A truck? Why? There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking objects are loaded on the bed of the truck. Hey, 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 the bed. Hey, Is that it? Damn Don't it. know how powerful they are if they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but there's a many, they may be extremely powerful. Did they really drive this truck and carry all these bombs? Damn it. Hey, can't you disarm these bombs? You're good at this kind of stuff, right? Hmm. Thought I could, but looks like the engine is also acting as the detonator. Damn it, so that's why the engine is still running. These bombs are set up so when the engine stops running, the engine will blow off and trigger the explosion. You don't care how it's built, could you disarm it or not? Uh. It's impossible, I don't have enough time. The main detonator was put inside this bulky metal box and welded shut. There's no way I can disarm it if I can't get this thing open. So it's gonna take you a long time? That's not good, I mean it's almost... This is bad! Yeah, noon. Hmm. What if we use the tools of the military base? Hey, hey, we don't have time hey. for that! The truck's engine is a detonator, right? Then can't we stall for time by adding gasoline? It's no use, the fuel cap has been welded on too! I'm gonna Let's do it! Let's drive the truck into the sea! Bastard! Catch, you don't even have a driver's license! Huh? Are you seriously gonna stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. Damn it! But even that's impossible, there's a chain wrapped around the wheel! We can't disarm the bomb, stall for time or move the truck! There's nothing we can do! Hey, hey! Check it out! Huh? See? Some kind of machine on top of that metal box Kazuichi mentioned. Huh? Machine on top of the box? Hmm. Oh, this. Looks like a card reader. A card reader. Hmm. Maybe we could disarm the bomb if we swipe the key card. You serious? Hmm. It might be possible. We get it would be able to disarm these bombs if we didn't leave some way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe you never planned to disarm them from the start. Hmm. Well, I don't think that's it. Gator's probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean, something? Yeah, so... there's definitely some kind of theme to this, I think. A theme? <laughs> the bastard probably would do something messed up like that. Oh, we what? gotta find that. Leave it to me. The Gator's trying to make us do something here. If that's true, why, what, could he, what is he trying to do to make us do... If that's true, what's he trying to make us do this time? No, we got there in the end. Are we gonna just die here if I don't do this in time? I'm gonna drop a save for sure. So this truck's just one big bomb. The Giddish theme has something to do with disarming the bomb might be around here. I need to try and find that first. More importantly, what's the thing over there? Was that there when I first came here? What? That wasn't here before. There's a laptop on the stop conveyor belt. This wasn't here the last time I came here, right? How is well, this? Well, this might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden. And it was immediately a video started playing. Hello there. Hello, everyone. Great work. So you already found the bombs, huh? Believe it in you, it's completely worth it. The Gito! Looks like a video message from Nikito. You video message, me if he's got off. something to say, you can say it to our faces. Hey, Just bastard. hold on, but now let's watch this through to the end. Now then. Now you guys have found the bombs. All you need to do is stop it. To tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the metal box. The longer you scan an e handbook, it will disarm the bombs. Leave it to All right, me! Alright, in case, then just leave it to me! However... It won't well, work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm the bomb, you have to use the traitor's student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it'll look like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should have another battle. So this is going to be your last chance, traitor. What are you going to do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you saved him, it's up to you. Now then. I wonder how this is going to end. Will the traitor identify, identity finally be revealed? And with that, the video ended. The Traitor Student Handbook. 
Don't so that's tell it. me. This is all a trap to weed out the traitor. Hey, is hey. there seriously a traitor? There is. Shouldn't we? They should have come forward already. I mean, their life's in danger too, you know. That's true, but yeah. Stop whining and complaining. We should do it one at a time. You. Don't be stupid. What if someone besides a traitor uses their handbook? Hey, hey. It's really strange to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Jackie walked over to the bombs without saying a word. Took out a handbook. Huh? And without hesitation, swiped the card reader. Mm. Looks like it was wrong. Who's See? next? Hey, hey, what are you hey. doing? If you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You but think they didn't. so? It's hey. just a fluke. Don't act so careless in a situation like this. Anyway. Well, I guess Jackie's not the traitor. I don't think that traitor would have swiped their handbook right away like she did. So what are we going to do? Who wants to try next? Hey, hey, like I said, hey. don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong card might be safe. But only huh? once, you know? Huh? Like what happened? Well... Nothing. I might be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... Just then, Kazuichi's face turned pale and he rushed over to the truck. And then as he tilted his head towards the engine, he suddenly shouted... <gasps> it's out of gas! What did you what say? Did you say? Huh? I already told you it's going to blow! But isn't it too soon? I mean, there's still time until noon. Are you kidding me? If you don't miscalculate... You serious? Miscalculate? <laughs> You're gonna set us up at least get your calculations right, damn it! At least Monokuma knows how to keep a schedule! Uh, hey, can we do anything about it? Is there serious? something we can do? Yeah. There's one thing we can do. Uh, what is it? What do we have to do? Damn it! Right. Are you Are you fucking me? serious? <sighs> and we should run! With those words, we started spreading away. And that's when it happened. It is all right. It is not a bomb. What? Huh? All of a sudden, the inside of the factory began overflowing with dazzling light. Huh? What the hell is this? Um. Looks like they're just fireworks. Fireworks? Well, we stood there dumbfounded. The fireworks slowly decreased their intensity, and eventually. Oh my! This means it wasn't a bomb. Huh? The heck! I mean, Nikito said. Um. So it is just as I thought. As you thought? Hey, hey! Everyone, look over there. The laptop. It looks like he's playing another video. Is it Nikito again? Oh God! What's it this time? <laughs> Were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. Damn, Damn it. it, so it was all a bluff! And what was that bomb he detonated at the hotel? Um... Nikita went to the Otakin inside the bunk house, right? Don't Is that where he got me. that bomb? He definitely wasn't struggling to blow up an island. Nikita was lying about that. He pissed me off. Is he still off. watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time his message so perfectly? Hmm. No, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wildest signal from the detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let me think about that after we watch the whole thing. You're right. Hey. So how'd it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had to guess, well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then, which is it? It'd make me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door, waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers, and I'll show you who the traitor really is. See you later. The warehouse next door. That's where Nagito is? I this time I'll make sure to beat the you. crap out of him. That's now I'll right. deliver the final blow and smash his head with a wrench. Jeez. You bastards, what are you saying? Bastard. You guys can't beat the shit out of him because I'm the one who's gonna fucking kill him. Mm. You guys, you've totally flipped your lids. Now's not the time to be calm, we need to stop them. That's my wrong voice. Now's not the time to be calm, we need to stop them. That is you are right, let us make haste. I wonder who the traitor is. I wonder if there even is one. This is bullshit. I reckon it's Kazuichi. I reckon it's Kazuichi. I don't like him. Huh? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Hey, I totally know how you feel, but calm down. Wait. Shut up! Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry faces instantly transformed into a look of caution. Akane, what is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of this door. The other side of this door? As I listen carefully, I can make out a soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. Music. 
What's the plan? Is this another one of the Guido's traps? Huh? Maybe the moment we open the door, a real bomb's gonna go kaboom. Now All then. right, let's open it and find out. Huh? Please do not. A cunny, it is dangerous. Yeah. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Leave Seriously, it it'll be fine. Oh god. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? It's not opening. I reckon Nagito's dead. I reckon someone killed him while we were all exploring. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Hey, I knew it. Hey. It's a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? You? Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What? I happened to open it slowly. I can't ignore their protest and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. It's gonna blow up! Instinctively, we tensed our bodies and braced ourselves. But, huh? what's this? What happened? Yeah. Look inside! It sure is. Nagito's dead in there. Looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within the darkness, a loud hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey. Do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. And in one cue, it suddenly started. Huh? It's on fire! A fierce and blaze suddenly began dancing into the dark warehouse like furry wings spreading before us. Whoa! What? What's going on? For now, we must explain. Nagito, there's explains. a body in there going to be charred, and we won't know whose body it out. is. Just like the fucking first game. It's exactly what happened in the first game! Hey! hey. How are we supposed to put this fire out? Uh, there should be fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those. Got it! Let's head to the break room! After listening to Sonya, we ran to the factory. Just get them, grab them. For fuck's sake, why are we even seeing this? Go, 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 go! Grab them, grab them, grab them, grab them. Where are the fire extinguishing supplies? I don't fucking know. Oh, I guess here? Yeah. Who's used to blow one of plastic bottles. It looks like there's some kind of liquid inside them. Everyone! We found it. Those are fire grenades. Fire grenades? Mm. They're basic fire extinguishing goods. When you turn out a fire, the container breaks, the couple inside puts out the fire. It is strange. That is strange. No? The last time I peeked inside this place, I've recorded seeing other fire extinguishing supplies too. Hey. There should be plenty. Just hurry up and go back to the warehouse. We grabbed all the fire grenades and rushed back to the warehouse. Well, we know Nagito's dead inside. Um, Make sure you don't get too close to the fire, it's dangerous. Uh, Take care not to inhale the smoke as well, we should throw the grenades from the door at the same time. Yeah. Looks like the kid in the back is burning up, I aim for that, right? Alright, let's go. go! I reckon Nagito was probably killed before he got set on fire too, that makes sense. We aim for the curtain in the back and threw the fire grenades one after the other, but... Hey, is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? The curtain absorbed the impact of the throwing grenades which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intense? Were they filled with gasoline or some shit? If the fire continues to rise, it will inflame the ceiling! This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades! Well, what are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for Oh, just go to the islands! Don't be stupid! There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it! It's raining? No, oh, sprinklers. So this is the power of the Japanese Terra That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. Water continues to vigorously pour out the sprinklers. And after a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. Looks like the fire is out. Um... That is a relief. Yes. The hell? My merch is drenched. It got splattered with water and now it's soaked. It's so wet. Hey, it's hey. Okay to look inside now. Just oh, time out, time out. You can't. Nuh uh. No way. Why can't we go inside? Hey, Smoke and hazardous um... gas are still spread throughout the warehouse, so it's got to ventilate for a while. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It's a problem if we breathe in all the lingering smoke. So, so for sake of your health, please wait for just a little while. While you're waiting, why don't you check out the Monocume Theater? I'm freshly prepared. Are you fucking kidding me?
Yeah. Everything is a lie. Monokuma doesn't exist. The Monokuma together doesn't exist. Everything is fiction. There's no meaning whatsoever. There's no relationship whatsoever. Everything was made. Monokuma can't be found anywhere. <laughs> what are you doing here anyway? That was great. Well done. 10 out of 10. Best Monokuma together ever. Yes, now the Monokuma together is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating. Also, I'm finally starting to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I shouldn't be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold Why on. are your eyes on the front? I so we can move it. forward. Don't be sad about what's already happening and be positive. Um, we get it already. Jeez. Not with your bullshit. I'll leave the rest to you. As I turn on the light for you guys too, you might hurt yourself if it's dark. Here. Go ahead. Go right ahead. He knows there's a body in there. There's obviously... Perhaps. Is Nagito inside? He said he was in the video message, he's probably escaped by now. Whew, so much fire and smoke, I thought he'd finally get to beat the crap out of him this time. Hey, hey. Well, let me go inside and see how it's doing. You... Hajime, what happened? Well, nothing happened, but... I don't know why. My heart's racing, it won't settle down. It's because Nagito's dead inside! Oh my god! As if an intense malice is about to stab me. Stab me through my whole body. And I can't even budge, it feels like everything was too late. Why do I feel this anxious? So we got a l another murder anyway. Nagito is gonna die. A charred door permeated through the warehouse. Odor permeated through the warehouse, and the air was too heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I sat inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. It smells. Stop the smells. Hey, it's not me. Hey. I am sorry. You serious? So when you say it ain't so. No, that's that's like a smell I've never smelled before. Like... Well, it makes sense. There are strange smells when a bunch of different things were burnt. Hey, hey. Did you know about that curtain? You mean the curtain was on fire, right? What do you mean, no? See? I didn't notice until the curtain was burning, but there's a space inside of it, too. When I looked where Chiaki was pointing, it was still a space beyond the burned... Oh, that's blood. Tattered curtain. I walked towards the burnt tattered curtain with slow methodical steps. I'd never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't help holding my breath. And then on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice that I'd been feeling. Yep, yeah, Nagito is dead. Yeah, fucking hell! Holy shit, that's horrible! <laughs> One of the worst ones, I think! And he's not been burnt. I had no idea what I was looking at. Well, by the time I realised I was looking at the remains of Nagito Kameda, the ultimate lucky student. Time had already stopped. Kinda glad he's dead to be honest with you, it was a cunt. <laughs> like he's the most unpleasant character in it. Anyway! It's deadly lifetime! And that, guys, is where we're going to end this episode of Danganronpa Goodbye Despair. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button. I will see you in the next part where we will investigate the murder of Nagito and head towards the fifth class trial. Stay tuned for more.